Spider-Man, Spider-Man, another low-res video about Spider-Man. I'm on the road, so you'll have to deal with low picture quality, something meal. Anyway, hi, welcome back uh, to another On the Road toy review. I'm, I'm still, flip the camera. Ah, I'm still in Pantoland. Hello, in fact, I'm filming this immediately after the previous video with the other Spider-Man. Uh, but, if that doesn't bother you, then I'm here to give my thoughts on this. Whoosh! The Gamerverse Miles Morales, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales figure uh, based off the 2020 PS5, uh, PS4 title. It is one figure in the Builder figure for Marvel's Armadillo wave. Uh, which is essentially the first Spider-Man No Way Home movie wave with a few other characters. This is my first ever, currently, Gamerverse figure. A figure based on one of the computer games uh, released as a Marvel Legends or Marvel Universe figure. And we've got Miles. We've got the Armadillo's leg. We've got Venom Blast hands. We've got Crawly hands. We've got an Unmasked Miles portrait that doesn't really look like Miles in the game. Uh, we've got fists, I think, down there. We've got web hands and a very, very impressive looking game uh, figure, which I cannot wait to open. On the side there, we've got Miles Morales, as depicted on the front cover of the video game. Same up to the side, but flipped. On the back, Miles Morales. When a fierce power struggle threatens to destroy his new home, Miles Morales realises that with great power there must also come sweet venom blasts and, and great responsibility. Again, there's the artwork, but if you have the game, if you be familiar with that as the front cover. The Builder Figure Wave, like I say, it's mostly Spider-Man No Way Home characters. So you've got uh, comic book Shriek, comic book Morloon, a little bit of Morloon. Uh, yeah, it's me. I'm, I'm the guy who likes the Inheritors. Uh, Miles Morales. Uh, and then we've got... It's weird how these are all CGI renders of the figures and not pictures of the figures. No Way Home style J. Jonah Jameson. No Way Home style Doctor Strange. No Way Home style uh, integrated suit? No, um, black and gold suit. And then the integrated suit, which doesn't have a builder figure part and is the one in the wave that is separate. Um, as of this recording, the black and gold suit and Doctor Strange are on their way. So I will probably review them in the next couple of weeks. And all of them, except for Integrated Boy, come with parts to build Armadillo. So it's a decent way for four figures based on the film, one based on a popular video game, two based on the comics, and you build a third comic book supervillain. Um, based on the size of the leg of Armadillo in this box, he's going to be huge, and I'm going to try and get them all. So, without further ado, let's open him up. Well, would you look at Miles? Um... Wow, I, yeah, okay, I have some lovely thoughts about this, but first, your mum's an armadillo. Armadillo's right leg comes with miles. <laughs> Just to reiterate, that's where the midsection of the armadillo's thigh is. So when armadillo's built, it's gonna be like this big. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. Uh, this is a, this is a chunky, chunky builder figure, and I cannot wait. Start putting it together. Woohoo! Right. Miles Morales. Articulation. Swivel on the old ankle. Standard stuff, but be very, very careful. It's very thin, and if the peg sticks, you're going to snap that bad boy off. I had to be very, very careful. No swivel joint in the calf. Double knee joint. Joint at the top of the thigh. Crotch joint. Swivel in the waist. Crunch in the ribs slash abdomen. Uh, the flexible shoulder slash sort of chest thing that the Spider-Man figures all tend to have. Swivel at the top of the arm, double joint in the elbow, swivel at the wrist where the spare arms are. The neck looks like it has two points of articulation, but it's actually just two pieces. Um, the bottom of the neck does not swivel. It's more prominent on the front than the back that it's a separate piece. Very odd. Uh, head is a double ball jointed peg so be careful when popping it off uh, one last articulation note you may have noticed something this is another one of those figures where they're attempting to do it without any visible pegs no pegs on the legs no pegs on the arms 
very smooth. And considering it's an adaptation of the video game character, it's cool that it has, you know, that smoother texture all over without any breaks. The immersion of that being ruined somewhat by the weird neck. Details of the costume. Miles' costume in the game has a very kind of, um, very slick, very um, sort of, how best describe it? A kind of artificial look, because it's a very, you know, expensive thing that he and Ganki have put together using the one that Peter gives him. Um, so you've got the little red trim on the boots, all the little segments are there. The knee pads, the subtle boot design, the, the, the sort of thigh high, uh, knee high boot design. All the ridges, all the little indentations all along the arms and the torso. The spider at the back, I do love his upside down spider. Um, the lower legs of the spider are painted, but all the red on the lower torso is a less shiny, less impressive red than is on the upper torso and the shoulders, which has a, a gleam to it, much like the costume does in the game. The webbing is very nice. I wish this camera was details of my other one because you'd be able to see the almost basketball-like um, raised section scaling on the upper torso. A few paint bleeds here and there. The sculpt is a very nice sculpt. Like That is a really cool, slightly older Miles Morales sculpt. Do you know what I mean? Like Not, not young kid Miles. Um, sort of 15, 16, 17-year-old Miles. It's a really nice sculpt. But it's not really what he looks like in the game. It's sort of, it's sort of wrong in terms of what it's based on. It's not quite right. It's a nice sculpt, but it ain't really, ain't really that Miles. Do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's odd how that's turned out. Uh, Miles's accessories include his webbed hands, which he has on the figure when you get him in box. Balled up fists for punching. You gotta punch stuff. That really nice. Look at the detail on the gloves. All the padding. That's very cool. Uh, he also comes with what's kind of standing out for a lot of Spider Man figures crawling hands, but with all the glove details of this figure. So they're not entirely reused sculpts. Because they've got all the, you know, the dents at the top and the button. He also comes with, and I can't wait to see what he looks like with these on, Venom Blast hands. So two. Kind of like mid-fight, going to reach for someone, sort of, you know, grasping hands made of a see-through yellow plastic um, with pivot at the wrist and the sparks of venom coming off of them. I, I don't know if these are removable. I don't want to risk it. I think they'll look nice as they are. Because when Miles is charging his hand, it's not just yellow. It's got the sparks of electricity all over it. And then the masked head, which that came on the figure. Again, that lovely uh, rippled material. Uh, there's a little bit of red paint bleed in the eyes and even a dent in the right eye too. In the top corner. But overall, the webbing is that lovely sort of deep red, slightly shiny webbing. Profiles, your classic Spider-Man kind of profile. I think this is gorgeous. And I really hope that the release of this figure inspires them to re-release or release a accurate updated version of the Peter Parker suit from the two games because they did one that so you couldn't get hold of it and you came and it came out it was impossible but they did one but it was just a little too bland a little too comic booky a little too shiny this is this is minus the head sculpt not being quite right this has captured the detail of the video game suit beautifully for Miles Morales let's see what he looks like in action look at him go oh my god this is amazing. What a great figure. Um, I'm kind of hoping, I mean, I, I'm not. My bank account would hate this. But I'm kind of hoping that considering how well they've managed to render this this look for Miles, the, the video game look for Miles, they maybe consider doing some of his alternate costumes as figures. Because, you know, with Peter's, a lot of those costumes that are in the game, you know, we got two versions. we got the game's end of the earth. Oh my God, I do have Game of Earth figures. I didn't realise, I've just never reviewed them. We got the Ends of the Earth figure based on how that suit was realised in Marvel's Spider-Man, the video game. And we got the Velocity suit from that video game. I can't believe I didn't realise I had two Game of Us figures already. Um, but like a lot of Peter's 
costumes in Spider-Man 2018 are based on his comic book outfits. We've got most of those as figures. Miles, a lot of the costumes in this game are based on literally just original concepts. I would love to see, like, the Bodega Cat suit or an alternate version of this, like a, a single packaged version of this. It's not part of a Builder Figure Wave. That's the version with Haley's uh, woolly hat scarf and, like, the... the, the, the what they call the leg warmers and stuff. Like, that would be really, really cool. Maybe the Crimson Cowl costume. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, part of the Armadillo Wave. What do you think? I think he looks beautiful. Do you like him? Do you want to pick him up? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to help out with uh, these videos, you want to buy me a toy for my Amazon wishlist, link will be in the description. You're under no obligation to do that whatsoever, of course. Uh, but if you want to support me another way, you could like this video and favorite it and make sure to subscribe for future ones. Ooh, say goodbye, Miles. He's waving.